Lifeline is an advice show for entertainment purposes only. If you need real help or advice, please seek a therapist or a licensed professional. Wow, your hair just... What about... Why is it going from here over here? Why do you have a comb over, but you also have hair? Because <laughs> it's chill? Uh, I think the answer is because it's chill. That's not... Worst defendant. What is... It's chill. Because it's chill. It's chill. Your Honor? Are we going? We already started? We already started, right? This is a fucking gold shit. Not just singing. All right, well, don't sing WC. Dub C. Not just singing with a mouth. Wagon. You can't do the rest of that. I know that. Um, yeah, dude. We're here. Lifeline episode something brought to you by Super Cult. So I do know the. No, but brought to you by Super Cult. I do Cult. know the brought to you by. Yeah. I remember it. What do you I mean? said last episode, I didn't really remember what that was. Oh, you remember it? Brought to you by. Who did that though? It was the the thing. Brought to you by. It wasn't everybody. It was ESPN. Oh, ESPN. Thank I you. Know. Thank you. I know that. Took us to fucking, took us to class so hard. So ESPN when he did it. When he said ESPN, he leaned back in his chair and put his feet up. Yeah, Fucking true, rocked us so hard. So uh, I hope my son doesn't grow up to be a serial killer. Do you know what I mean? I Yeah, if you want to talk about that, go for it. Yeah. Because we wanted to do the episode at 2 p.m. You did. I yes, did. Yes. I did. We By we, I mean me. And I said it was fine. Because I'm, I'm the fine. kind of guy that does kind of goes with it just you you roll with it you i roll, roll with, with the it punches, just dude. in general yeah. right and i said let's do it at two and we're recording on a saturday and chris over here our producer says you know what i you know i i don't want to be like i'm I'm, sh- I'm sure it's fine you know it's cool if we need to but like i you know it's saturday and i want to do my day can we do it at 11 and i said okay that's cool but i just wanted to play with my son before uh i he went down for a nap and i wanted to shoot during my nap but it's okay and he said uh, you know, and we started, I said, okay, I'm okay so with two okay. o'clock or whatever. And I said, yeah. it's just, I really want to be there for my son because, yeah. you know, I don't want to not be there for him because dads who aren't there. Do you we said, have to do this? Oops. You interrupted. We said, yeah, we have to do it, dude. Yeah. You said, I said, I, I can do whatever. Do I can do it at two. I prefer to not have my nephew turn into a serial killer, but whatever. Because most kids that don't have, most kids that don't this. have their parents around, they turn out more likely to become serial killers right. or terrible people in some other way, criminal in right. one way or another. So yeah. I said, oh shit, well, that's fine. It shouldn't be a big deal. My son maybe grew up to be a serial killer. He's just a little bit more likely to become And that's one. fine. Yeah. And we'll tell that to the families if he ends up here. That, that, oh, the producer of the podcast, don't worry that your family is that somebody died in your family because my producer wanted to go sailing. Yeah, right, right, right. right later right. that Saturday. Yeah. So don't even worry about it. And then that, they're going to feel better, right? They'll feel a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, so don't even worry about it. About their dead relative. Right. Yeah. So it's fine. So good. So we figured that out. Um, so we're here. So we're here, so we're here or whatever it is. We figured that out. Yeah, we figured so that now that that's all settled. Yeah. So uh, and, and I drove over here. And let me just tell you, man, I was excited to come over here because it's Saturday. Mm. And I knew that it was going to be smooth sailing, right? Mm. Because people aren't going to work and Uh-oh, stuff, right? And dude, coming. the traffic was just gorgeous. <laughs> it was just gorgeous, man. The traffic was just insanely gorgeous. The traffic was fucking gorgeous. Fuck, it was fucking gorgeous. But, fucking why, fucking gorgeous. but why was the traffic so gorgeous on a Saturday? Right? I know why. Why? Because we were coming on downtown, and downtown is where people show up in, in, in numbers mm-hmm. to get angry about one thing or another. And people are always angry, and on the weekends is when people have time off, so that's when they plan their So protests. they're coming down to do protests and stuff. Correct. I saw people protesting. Correct. So um, um, they should pro- You know what they should protest? Traffic. That's what they should protest. No more traffic. Stay home. That's what it should be. I'm going to be in my apartment silently protesting no tra- protesting traffic. Help I, I help. I don't think anybody. But it was gorgeous, man. It was so gorgeous. I was driving and people were bumper to bumper, and I was just like, God, this is gorgeous. And then Colin um, Farrell, and, dude. Then, and then and then two and then motorcycles rode by me quickly, and it was very loud and rumbly. And I were, hate that. And it was just gorgeous, man. It was gorgeous. <laughs> it was gorgeous too. In my ears, it was gorgeous. It was gorgeous for my eyes. And I, you know, it was great because I had to keep hitting the brake and then go a little bit and hit the brake. Right. And it was, and you know what it was, dude? It was gorgeous. Every one of those too many Colin minutes. Farrell. Absolutely. Every Colin one of those too many minutes was just absolutely exquisitely gorgeous Confer. so i love <laughs> so i love that traffic man i just love that it's there and i love that it hit me by surprise because it's saturday and you love how gorgeous it, it is it was just absolutely gorgeous i was driving down here and i was just like is this a painting by georgia o'keefe 
Wow. Because it's gorgeous. Only artist he knows. Only artist Does he this knows. Look, you know what? I was like driving down. I was like, is this a fucking painting of a flower that looks like a pussy by George O'Keefe? <laughs> because right. this is just absolutely gorgeous. Right. Okay. Right? Yeah. And so I finally got here and now I'm pissed. Right? <laughs> and that's great, dude. And we're here late anyway. So that so Chris can't even go fucking sailing. And now I'm fucking way not with my son for even longer because of the gorgeous traffic. And that's great. So my son's a serial killer and the producer doesn't even get to do <laughs> Could you? sailing. So yes, dude. <laughs> Could I'm you have- 100% going sailing can you are going oh yeah okay good could anybody have come in hotter than you've come in with this <laughs> is that even possible <laughs> and thanks so much for the gorgeous traffic okay thanks and that's LA. what it was dude thanks la for the gorgeous traffic so uh but i'm thrilled about it so that's great great okay well that's that's you think i'm good. being defensive I'm not. i just no i think you're being very angry and trying to cover it up with with words that imply you're not angry so many words for defensive nope that's not defensive mm. This is a different groups of wording, group of wordings. Okay. My son said, I left today and my son said, I said, um, I'll see you later. And he said, see you later. And I said, I love you. And he said, I love you. And then he said, I'll be serial killing in 20 yep. years. I hope, I hope, I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy. I hope, tell Chris, I, I, the producer, I hope he enjoys sailing. Because right. that's three people that are going to wind up dead <laughs> in 25 years. <laughs> um, all right. So, yeah. So, that's what's up. That's cool. But other than that, man, just been – you look great. You look good. Oh, just rethought great. <laughs> you look good. You look good. That's so fucking rude. Uh, I think you were going to say great. What what made you downgrade it to Because you're doing – you have a comb over and you don't need a comb over. <laughs> Well, some, so the thing about my hair is that any which way it goes, it looks kind of flowing and, and pretty yeah, but great. You don't have to have a comb over. That, there you go. Absolutely amazing. Well, way better. Amazing. Great. Great. Now great. It looked amazing before as well. Just, great. Just, just, just to clear that up for you. Kristen said my hair looks great yesterday. So, Yesterday? What about today? She, I didn't really. I, I mean, we saw each other briefly, but because I had to leave. You know why she I said had to it? rush out because we had to do it so early and it didn't go to traffic. You know why she said it? What? Because <laughs> it's so rare for you. No. Yeah, maybe. No, dude. Also, I got fucking tan a little bit. Yeah, that's the first time you've ever fucking. Done you know, that. I got tan, dude. This is how white I am, dude. Okay, this is how white I am. So, you know, I got married. I was in the uh, ceremony or the wedding. Oh, and, she hopes so. Yeah, and, and I was in there. I was in that because it's for me. And it was at five thirty outside. I was outside for fucking twenty five minutes, and I burned to a crisp at five thirty. That's how white I am. The next yeah. day, I woke up and I was a fucking lobster, dude. Yeah, you were burnt. Yeah, yeah. And so now. What, it turned into some color. So, dude, I look great. So I was sitting there all tan and gorgeous traffic, and it's fine. You do look better with a little bit of a tan. I sure. know. I got I got to. But do you know what? Laying out in the sun, you know what it is? It's boring. You can't look at your phone because it's too bright. You start sweating, and you read can't it. read a book. It's too bright. You can read a book. It's too bright. No, I don't agree you with that. You can listen to a fucking podcast. You can read a book. You can listen to a podcast and also be like doing doper shit, though. Like what? I wish being in the sun was more fun. This is what I think that you should be. This is what I think should happen if you sit in the sun because being in the sun is healthy, right? I mean, it, to a degree. To a degree, yeah. right. To not, I mean, not, you're not going to fucking want to be out there all the time and just like with no skin sun, cancer, with right? no protection. But yeah. to a degree, it's nice. So here's what the Lord should do. Okay. They should, when you're out in the sun chilling, you should get to jizz. <clears throat> just upon being the sun, in the sun hitting you? Just chilling, not even touching anything sexual. You should just, it should, you should be, have a low grade jizz. Like the, the steady stream of low like grade a low is? grade edging. No, the problem the problem with that is no one would ever get out of the sun. <laughs> so the Lord should not do that. But it only works. But it only works for like thirty minutes, and then you and then it stops, right? And you bust. You Maybe know what? You, bust. you know what that made me think of? That a lot of things make me think of. Mm. When I was a kid, mm. I read Michael Crichton's Terminal Man. Yeah. And there's a passage in the book about it's like about how the brain is manipulated. Yeah. Uh, through like putting nodes on it, and you can like right. let the person in an experiment tap the certain buttons that. Mm connect to certain parts of the brain. Yeah. And there's a part in the book early on, it's just a really short part, but I think about it all the time, where a guy was allowed to give an access to a button yeah. that- Helped him jizz. That, that set off an orgasm Whoa. in his brain, not in, on his body, but in his brain. And he turned it into like a drooling, fucked Whoa. up, like massive bone and skin who was like unable to do anything except like fucking hit that button. Uh, yeah. But he didn't have, a, he didn't jizz? It was just a brain jizz? Yeah, he just kept, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the that's what that's the level of uh shit we're talking about here. So I don't think the Lord, as you put it, wow, I don't think the Lord should do that. Fucking terrifying. It's scary. That's why it stuck with me. I was like twelve, and I was like, yeah. Well, also you should. What's be jizzing? Twelve reading the terminal. No, you but, shouldn't. You definitely shouldn't. Yeah. But I did that. Yeah. Yeah. And fucking eleven years old reading the Andromeda Strain. 
Uh, yeah, I used was. to think it was the Andromedia strain. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, all right, well, dude, that's be- that's probably why you fucking you're fucked up, right? I read Jurassic Park. I read Congo. I read fucking Andro- Andromedia strain. Right. Did you read Andromeda strain? Yeah, Not I read me. Terminal Man. I read Congo. That's it. You only read Congo. I read Congo. Yeah, and I read Jurassic Park. The same hieroglyphics over and over again. <laughs> Tim Curry in Congo. Thank the you. same hieroglyphics over and over again. That Good. character is legendary. What I realized, I looked up Tim Curry and Congo, and so many people have pulled clips and put him, that shit up on YouTube. Really? Yeah, it's like a famous thing. Yeah. Wow. I, didn't, I, didn't, I mean, it was to us when we were young, but wow, I didn't realize dude. it was to the world. How as well. fucking amazing would he be at a dinner party? You know what I mean? You would just like, you, everyone had some talking, be like, shut the fuck up, dude. Tim Curry's here. Yeah, Tim Curry's yeah. done some of the greatest shit ever on screen. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. So, um, all right. So, <laughs> so let's do, uh, let's do, let's get into it, let's guys. Do. You know what? Let's get into it. Let's do. Hi, Matt. Hi, Chris. Since he- um, one week ago, I went to the swimming pool to meet my uh, friend. Uh, boy, oh boy. And I arrived a little bit earlier, and I was in wow. the cubicle getting changed, and I could hear my uh, friend in the next cubicle on a telephone call. Uh, it was kind of a lot of agreeing, a lot of mm-hmm, 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 mm, all that kind of noise. Um, and then about 10, 15 seconds later, I hear him say, that was the best blowjob I've ever had. <laughs> So I was like, Jesus, what, what's going on here? And then five seconds after that, I hear another guy say, that's no problem. Oh, wow. So I stayed in that cubicle and I waited sure. until the normal time should have met him. So it was like nothing strange. Right. But I wanted to ask, would you tell the friend that you heard that situation or would you just let it go and wait for him to tell you? Either way, who cares? You know, the heart wants what the heart wants. But I just wanted to ask for your opinion. Thanks very much, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. That's, that's it's so funny that you one. have to say at the end, like, it doesn't matter. I'm cool with whatever, which is cool. Yeah, of course it is. But You do all, need to say that, I think, though, actually. I know, but it's funny that you have to, right? Because it's like, he, you don't want him, he doesn't want to come off as being like fucking normal. I think it's not funny because it makes me think of the, all the people that wouldn't be okay with it. And then that makes me want to cry. So, so deeper. Takes, you know what? You know why you kinds. think that? You read all those fucked up books when you were twelve. Maybe, so, maybe. Uh, it's deeper. I'm and a sensitive so, guy. I'm in touch with the universe. I'm in touch such. with Michael Crichton books when I was eleven. So, um, <laughs> so I read so much John Grisham when I was ten. So, um, so, uh, so the guy got sucked off. Okay, he was at the pool. Am I getting that right? He was at the pool. The guy didn't know. He got sucked off, and the fucking friend was right next to him in his fucking uh, odd future hat. Now. The guy got sucked off, and that's fine. But this is what you do when that happens, bro. Okay. You go like this. Received. Information. Received. Uh-huh. He's sealing an envelope. He's putting it somewhere. He's putting it in his shirt pocket, and he's leaving it there. And you keep it. You keep it for rainy day. It's just there. Oh, oh what are you, a fucking villain? You're going to no, keep it? No, you're not a villain. But what if the guy's a villain? You have to keep the shit wow dude what if the guy's a villain dude you got to look out for yourself dude okay well here's here's what i would do but the traffic was gorgeous but what i would do (laughs) what i would do first of all is this man your friend is he in the closet or is he well he was in the bathroom (laughs) no but is he if it depends on if he's in the closet he's he's in the closet he doesn't know okay so let's say he's in the closet Mm -hmm. then i think bringing it up with him is an absolute no no because why why yeah why like push that? Why mm. why even poke that bear? There's no reason to. Mm. Uh, but if you if you if bear, he is that bear. gay oh, yeah. or if he's openly even bisexual, absolutely bring it up and fucking make fun of him for it because yeah. that is goddamn hilarious. So he got sucked off in a fucking wet bathroom, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what made you? So what made you think I wouldn't hear that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, made you think that I wouldn't hear that? Yeah. But, but um, if he's in the closet, dude, I, I yeah, that's that's sensitive shit. I, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't kick that hornet's nest. Yet. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but also save it for a rainy day. So you basically what you're saying is save it for a rainy day. <laughs> so we agree, save it no, for a rainy day. I think I, I, that that is so fucking funny though, dude. Oh yeah, he's, I Especially would love to see that guy. His eyes slowly, each time something happened, get bigger and bigger. And be like, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. His yeah, eyes yeah. popping yeah. out of his fucking head. His fucking head. My favorite part was when he was. Thinking, well, thinking like, wow, that's some phone call. Right, you know right, I mean? right. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just like, God, wow. 
he must be getting a return right. back that he didn't think he was at Amazon or something. The greatest news oh, of all time. Yes. It's a huge rebate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck this rebate. Oh, this cum <laughs> rebate. <laughs> so fucking Oh, stupid. my God. Rebate in your mouth. So oh, stupid. Oh, hell yeah. Swallow that rebate. Such a bad disguise, you know? <laughs> So poorly covering up what's really oh, going on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Grab under there with that rebate. Can't think of another word <laughs> to cover for it. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. And save it for a rainy day. You never know when you might need it. I don't know about that, but he I guess technically you are saving it for a rainy day if you're not telling Exactly. Anymore. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So that's anyway, let's keep hilarious, going. though. And please never forget that story because that is fucking Well, hilarious. we won't. It's now immortalized. Yeah, I never will. On Lifeline. All right. What we got? Hey, Chris. Uh, hey, Matt. Oh, how you guys doing? It's a foot. Um, I need you guys' um, advice on something's something. A, something's a foot. <laughs> <That's stupid. laughs> my roommate, I I do that. who's also my cousin, Oh. Uh, I love him to death. Uh-oh. You know this is going But he's bad. a conspiracy theorist. Oh, shit. And I don't I'm a know foot. what to say when <laughs> he tells me things, and I don't know what to say when he asks me things, because politics... Piece shit, and I don't like that shit. So I don't know. I don't like to be in, involved, and I need advice to, you know, I don't know, because like things he's saying, I'm like I don't know if I even you know believe you, because like eh, you know, I don't know. What 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 are you gonna do? Wow. I think um, sometimes it's good for these people, especially if you aren't interested in politics and don't actually know how mm -hmm. to debunk the person, because that's let's yeah. face it, not going to do anything anyway. Ask him to. If, if you have the tolerance for it, ask him to prove it mm. and yeah. say, I don't know about this stuff. Show me what you're talking about because mm -hmm. what you're explaining sounds fucking wild. Don't say crazy. Say mm -hmm. wild. Mm. Um, sounds and, gorgeous. Say, and it then sounds gorgeous. Oftentimes when you do that, that person will show you something that is the opposite of Not proof. proof. Yeah. yeah. Just, just, just like, like the clouds. It'll be like a meme some yeah, person yeah, yeah. made with JFK's face on it and mm -hmm. say like something about the CIA on top yeah. and then something about everyday life on the bottom, you know? And yeah, you're just yeah, like, yeah. that's <laughs> proof of what? Proof of what? You They're know? like, look, Trash Can Paul posted this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Dude, Dude it's, look at this account, you know? And you're just yeah. like, what? It's 2,000 followers. It's a picture of Christian Bale smiling. Right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Saying Biden is a lizard. Right. Or, or the other thing you can do is just. If you just want to disengage and have them stop, just just say you believe them. Just be like, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. shit, all the time. Yeah, and just let Get it cascade. Really? You. Yeah. JFK's that guy? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh my god. JFK Jr.'s alive, and that's him. Yeah. Dude, I don't, I, I don't understand what it is about conspiracy theorist people that they, they like. Why do they have to always be convincing you of shit? It's like the new religion. It's like, I don't give a fuck. Okay, so you believe that? That's fucking cool. I don't even give a shit. Dude, I like weirdos. I like if you think Joe Biden is a lizard. That's uh -huh. fucking awesome. Well, But stop talking about it so fucking much to me. And don't make me try and think it. I don't give a fuck. That's all part of it, though. That's part of the appeal. They're in the secret, the group of secret knowledge that Cabal. possesses the secret knowledge. And it's part of why it's appealing to them. And... Furthermore, what appeals to them even more is getting other people to think about what they're saying and to actually come on board with their shit. Do you think if they knew it was true, they wouldn't try and spread the information? Or uh, they, is it like know. a super sin secure thing where they're just like, I got to get people to fucking it's like, dude, Mormons secretly know. Come on, dude. I think All a lot of it. Shit I think a lot of it is, is actual, some kind of at least adjacent to mental illness. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I, I don't know what the fuck's going on in their minds. In fact, I've thought about it and read about it so much because it fascinates the shit out of me. Mm -hmm. There's almost never any convincing. It's like an addict. Like you don't convince an addict to stop taking the thing that they're taking that's ruining their lives. Mm. They just are going to do it until they're ready to not do it. And a conspiracy theorist uh, is either going to just change and come to realize it, but they're rarely, rarely, rarely going to ever be pr sh have proof shown that is going to make them change their fucking mind, mm. which this guy can't even do anyway because he doesn't like politics. Wow. Yeah. Um. Wow. I wish that's I knew what kind of conspiracy theories this guy's talking but about. But that's the thing about conspiracy theorists, that they don't just believe in one of them. Yeah. They, they are, yeah. believe in all of them. Dude. Which makes them suspect 
even more. Yeah, so. yeah, of course. Yeah. They're like, dude, Joe Biden's a lizard. Yep. It was a co- this was a cover up. Yep. That happened. We didn't land on the moon. You're right. Fucking all this other shit. The earth is uh, flat. Yeah, the earth is flat. Bill Gates is injecting us with HIV, yep. whatever the fuck it is. You know what I mean? Yep. 3G, 5G. 5G shit. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And, uh, and I hits. believe in all of it, dude. <laughs> I believe in all of it. Well, I, I imagine how stressed fucking out you would be if you believed in all of it. Well, I think that's another part of the allure. You get to be stressed out about shit that is way out of your control instead of being stressed out about paying your bills. It's more exciting. I do that with my OCD. Yes, dude. Okay. Fuck yeah, dude. I turn the lights on and off a million times because I can't deal with my anxiety, dude. Amazing, dude. <laughs> Amazing, dude. Woo! <laughs> well, it's similar, though. It's yeah, the same it's, idea. It is similar. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Well, made me sad. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, Next one, bro. Yeah. Hi, Chris and Matt. Um, So a few years ago, my husband and I bought our first house. It's the Midwest. um, It happened to have a pool in the backyard. Cool. Um, We also have neighbors who next door have, you know, two sons. They're 14, 18, somewhere around there. And ever since we moved in, every summer they always have asked us if they can come to swim in our pool. Mm. Um, And so, you know, we don't have a relationship with these people other Mm. than, you know, waving to them when they're mowing the lawn. And, you know, to give you a specific example, one day it was the hottest day of the year and we can see them over there, you know, mowing the lawn, they're um, trimming trees and just absolutely drenched in sweat. And we get a text from the mom and it's one, it's the younger son asking us, you know, can me, my dad and my brother come swim in your pool? My dad? And so we just don't respond because. Yeah, good. No. no and then yeah. because wow. we didn't respond, they come and knock on our door <gasps> and ask oh. us again, you know, if they can swim in our pool. And this happens all the time. And so we have summer season coming up. Oh. And so, you know, we really need to know, do we need to move? How do we respond oh, no. to this I... once and for all? Please help me. <laughs> That's oh a brutal one, God, dude. That, that is a brutal is one. So fucking. Ugh, that's, that's just that's bad. Like that hurts my heart. Like what a shithole situation. Yeah, you gotta just you, you gotta just be together when you answer the door next time and say, "We're just this is not a public pool. We're 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 not really ready, or we don't feel right having other people just come over to our fucking property whenever they fucking want." Wow. Just say, yeah, but you have to sleep in our beds and also eat all of our food. They probably won't even get the picture. And you have to pay our bills. You know what you have to, you know what, wow, that's so fucking fucked up. This is going to be on Fear Thy Neighbor. Someone's winding up dead. This is how Fear Thy Neighbor starts. I know I bring this up a lot. Yeah, I but- hate, I hate people like this. This, oh. this father is raising such little pieces of shit to think that this is okay to fucking do. Yeah. This that's- is a fucking nightmare person. Yeah. Jesus. It is, but also uh, the, the, thing about this is just say oh you know what happened dude and i would do this if i was the okay. husband okay. i would i would go out there and i would say this is so embarrassing i shit in the pool and it's got we have to drain it and then have it come back and then every time they ask say the same thing yeah i, you I could, shit in you, it again you could definitely do that yeah I, and then they would stop asking and be like are you do they keep, keep shit in the pool right, i don't give right. a fuck dude no that's a that's actually that'd be amazing if you want to because here's why if, dude then you get to have them not be in your pool yeah and have a little bit of fun with it yeah dude. right yeah have a little bit of fun with it dude this is the thing they're trying to mess up your day every situation even if it's bad can be good dude take a problem add another problem and then it's better right well so just like i think fucking like that's my shit dude right i mean if you want to battle crazy with crazy then definitely do that yeah if you want it just to stop entirely both answer the door have it be both of you and both of you say one and then the other can speak whatever no at the same time units in a united front like this is not something we're, we're, we're comfortable with moreover it's not something we even want so like we're not going to allow you guys to use our pool, you know? I would say, we don't even really know you, dude. Yeah, You're right. just neighbor. You just happen to be near us. Yes, exactly. So don't be in my pool. Bro, yeah. that's so insane. Wow, dude. Like she could even say, just like I wouldn't let like some random stranger yeah. from the next town over right. swim in my pool, I wouldn't let you swim in my pool. We don't mm. know you. And even if we did, we don't want someone in and out of our property right, whenever right, they right. want. I have a little bit of fun with it, dude. This is an opportunity. Uh, you got to have fun with it. They're creating stress for you. Yeah. Deal with it the way you want to in the most fun way. 
to be the husband and say, I, the better be even the if husband. the woman does it because they would believe you. I shit in the pool. I'm sorry. And I keep shitting in the pool. I don't know what's going on with me, man. I must. I got to go to therapy. Every time I get in, I just shit. Yeah, dude, it, it yeah. sucks. It actually sucks. And but but sell it. Be like, it really, really, really is terrible. Every time I one time I walked by and I just wanted to see if it was warm, so I put my finger in it and immediately I shit my pants. Like it's something weird about me in the pool. Right, well, I that, shit. That would work. But also, what if they're like, oh, we don't mind. That's that's. I'd be like, I mind. It's my shit. And I, like, don't I don't want to get want, you sick. That's a I don't want to get you matter. sick. Lawsuit. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh. Horrible, dude. Did you ever have a situation like this where something that happened? That is not that. Not that, that is no. extreme, dude. No, that's a that's a crazy level of. of remember the one time audacity. Remember, remember the one time I was going. To, I I invited you well, after a, a set. I invited you to the fucking diner to go eat, and we were going to meet up. And then I I, know I drove a door guy home from the comedy store, and he, and I was and he was like, oh man, thanks for the ride home because he was gonna have to fucking walk or take the bus. And yeah. I was like, dude, and I was like, yeah, I'm actually going to fucking. It's all good. I was going this way anyway to meet my brother to go eat, and he was like, oh dude, I would love, I'll I'll come, man. Mistake. Yeah, I would love to come. I'll Mistake go. on your part. Yeah. Now, I, but but it, in my defense, dude, I was like, well, who the. I mean, I didn't even think this was a possibility, dude. You don't. I didn't even know the guy. Really. Should have, should have thought about it. And yeah. and I had I texted you. I was like, Matt, I, I don't know what to do. This guy came. He's you know coming. what you should have said? Oh shit! It's gonna text my brother. Canceled. I'm just gonna go home. I'll drop you off. And then I go. Yeah. And then he would have fucking went. And he, he then comes he anyway. Like, we could just go. <laughs> and then I show up. And you, I show up. And you're there. And we're, I'm just like. And he's just like. You know, you text me. Lying. Pretend we're not brothers and shit. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah, have to yeah, get yeah. out of it. So yeah. Who's that guy that looks like you? <laughs> Oh my God, dude! Yeah, that's, whatever happened to that guy? I don't even know where he is. Uh, that's that's he was wearing a Chicago Cubs hat. I remember that. Maybe he was. Maybe yeah, he's in Chicago. Chicago. So from Chicago. All right, cool. Only guy from Chicago would do that. So all right, cool. <laughs> Next. What's up, Chris? What's up, Matt? It's got David the fan. He's got me through some hard times. Thank you. Nice. My Patreon. advice that I need is I need I need to know like how Touching to his head so much go and approach women. Like I need advice on that. Like okay. whether it's if I'm out or wherever, you know. Like, how do I go if I if I think to myself, oh, you know, she's pretty. Like, how do I go and talk to them? Like, I find that like, I don't know, just like awkward. So that and I don't know how to just start a conversation. So, yeah, just let me know. Thank you. Shout out. That's a Patreon subscriber, dude, uh, for uh, my podcast. Uh, <sighs> it's tough because it's completely scenario dependent. Sometimes the scenario just doesn't allow a situation for you to do it. Sometimes it's just you. The, the situation you can't come up with a good scenario on how to approach someone and you kind of leave it at that because the last thing you want to do is actually encroach on someone's life or time or in their space you know it's like there are a few scenarios where that's just it's not possible so in those scenarios forgive yourself for not being able to do it but uh in times where it's like a setting where that is sort of I don't want to say allowed because it's allowed everywhere, but mm. like when it's when it's more sort of common to approach people who are strangers or whatever, um, I think it's totally scenario dependent, like where you are, what time it is, who you're with, who they're with, like, and I think it needs to be as organic as possible. But I think maybe what you're struggling with is it's it's not there is no answer of how to do it. There's only an answer of you you have to do it because like there's no how to there's just like when it arises you're either going to live with regret for not doing it oh, man. or do it and and potentially fail yeah and what you're dealing with is the potential of failure and what you got to realize is that is kind of minuscule compared to regret dude failing is nothing regret is is everything that, i think john lennon said that you know what dude it's like are you gonna die you're gonna die bro this is going back to your thing Thank like, you. you're gonna die bro just fucking go out there and do it well you want to have a family right you want to grow. I mean, maybe you don't. Maybe you just want to get laid, do the horizontal mambo. But, bro, you got to fucking get out there and do this. This is why you're here on this earth is to keep the species moving. And you're just sitting back, bro. You're just sitting back, letting a girl walk by outside of a cafe. And you're just sitting there drinking that hot coffee like, oh, I wish I could. Bro, this is your life, man. You wear that sweater that says life rips. Make it rip, motherfucker. You got to say, hey, and guess what? You might, it's not that you might fail. You're going to fail. You're going to fail. Yeah. You're going to fail. And guess what? You're going to fail again and again and again and again. Yep. And then pretty soon, you're you're not going to fail. Eventually, you're not going to fail. And it's going to lead to laying down horizontally. And it's going to lead to splurting. And it's going to lead to nine months down the line. And you're going to have a, bi okay, a baby. Well, and then it's going to lead to having a family. And then those kids are going to grow up. And you're going to be able to tell them, 
Life ripped for me, man. And I went out there while I was drinking my hot coffee and your mom walked by and I was insecure, but finally it worked. You know, I hit on so many girls and none of them wanted me. And the only one that accepted me was your mom. Okay. And I guess maybe that makes her a loser, but oh, it doesn't okay. matter because we're losers together. Okay, you should have stopped halfway through. But the one thing I would say more- And than then when I laid down horizontally with your mom and splurted in her, you came out. Maybe he just wants an actual companion. He's not thinking about splurting just yet. I guess. But the big thing is, whatever you're seeking, just do the rest of us guys and all women a fucking favor and just don't be a fucking gross creep. Yeah, 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 don't yeah, Don't yeah. be a fucking gross creep when you do it. Right, don't right. Don't ever be in a scenario where you could leave it and the girl or woman leaves thinking, oh my God, that guy was such a fucking creep. But sometimes you're not in control of that. You think conversations are going to go a certain way and then you say something fucked up by mistake or whatever the fuck and then they come away with a different experience. It's two people, bro. You okay, know what well, I'm there, I guess there's a gray try, area, try, but yeah. there's also a completely obvious area of creepdom that you should never, ever, ever creep fucking them. enter. It sucks. Nobody likes it. It's a fucking absolute lie that the kind of guy who's like, cat calling or being oh, a fucking well, yeah, creep yeah, yeah. ever 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 gets the result yeah, that yeah, he's yeah, looking yeah. for yeah. yeah it's just not fucking true and nobody wants it yeah it's bad women hate it and it's bad for other fucking men because it makes them look bad right it's mostly just old white construction workers and also young puerto ricans <laughs> that do that but yeah um uh yeah dude cat calling is crazy but just be like hey what's up you got you know what i mean like you got kids. Remember, I knew you this got girl. Kids. One, one ch- I knew that this chick told me that that was the best t- line. The way the guy hit on her, she said. Uh, th- I said. She said the best way a guy ever hit on me. He came up to me and said, "You got kids." Really? <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm confused. Why is that good? Because she thought it was so funny, and uh, then they started talking. I mean, she, she never went out with him. But they got um, married. No, yeah, no. And that man was me. No, and uh, no, it's. But, but that's yeah. the thing. There's no right. I know. Line or phrase or topic. It's just situation dependent. But. The thing to keep in mind is the things not to do. Don't go away with oh, yeah, regret yeah, 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 yeah. and don't be a fucking creep. It's better to be rejected than live with regret. Be- a rejection is nothing. You'll forget about it by fucking dinner time. It doesn't matter. Also, different people are different, you know? Like one time I heard on a, I was watching a TV show and this this woman was saying, like they were talking, to, it was like, I don't know what the hell I was watching, but they were asking different women what the best way to hit on them was. And one woman said, like, it's best, honestly, if they just come up to me and say, you want to fuck. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. And that is 99% of women would find that fucking appalling. Yeah. But my point is, there's people out there that like all sorts of different things, right? Yeah. Um, That's so, true. Yeah. I think the, the main thing is be comfortable in your own skin, right? The second you're trying something yeah. or, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Be, be naturally yeah. you, as naturally you as you can possibly be. Uh, but yeah, the, the, there's, there's nothing worse than living with regret. Uh, and there's really a lot of things that are way worse than being rejected. Being uh, rejected is nothing. Yeah. It, it, it right, really is nothing, nothing, especially if you get used to it. Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. Been rejected so much. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. 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 yeah for sure. Yeah. Is it's, there, har- it's hard for everyone. Is there like a single one thing that you could do every time if you're like, I don't know what to say. Right. Oh Yeah. Like, let's say, let's say it's having your number on a piece of paper, right? And yeah. being like, you drop this. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. That, which is stupid. Right. But it could work. Y- if you have nothing else, like maybe that's. that's I like, like to do that. That's what I want. I like to do this. Guy. You're at a cafe and you go and you're going to pay. There's a hot chicken line. You go into pay and you go like this. You go like this. Uh, yeah. And then it's your turn. You say, I would like a, an American. Oh, oh shit, dude. And you just drop a bunch of fucking cash. <laughs> so and you go like this. I'm fucking my bad. My bad. My, my bad. My bad, dude. I don't, was some of this yours? And then be like, it doesn't matter to me. And so then fucking walk away. Go to an ATM before you go you anywhere. You have to. Yeah. You have to get money. And pretend you're yeah. fumbling with your money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Make sure it's not outside because it could blow away. Yeah. Make sure it's not just like $36. Robot. You got to get like most of the money in your account. Yeah. 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 And then just right when you're done, go back to the bank and put it all back because you yeah, don't want to yeah, carry yeah, that much yeah, cash yeah, on yeah. you. Because it's hard time. No, I mean, yeah. I guess that's I guess that's possible if the one thing if I just think it's tough to 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 have a one so to speak one size fits all thing that you do because I think that it it will it limits your your fourteen thousand stop I'm sorry dude I'm scared it limits your fucking ability to even get the result (laughs) that you want I think because it's like further narrowing the pass for you to get through yeah I remember one time I remember one time I was. I would see this girl at this coffee shop and I would and she was so hot. I mean, this was fucking God, when was this? This was probably fucking 13 years ago. And I was like, we gotta hang out sometime, you know? And she was like, uh, 
yeah, I don't know. I have a boyfriend. I was like, oh, shit. Well, when are you guys going to break up? Like, just a fucking idiot, you know? And then I would see her. And then one time I was like, she said she broke up. And I was like, oh, let me get your number. And she was like, sure, yeah, fine, here. And she gave me her number. And then I, I, I wrote it. I wrote or I wrote it down or put it in my phone and then when I walked away I, I looked at the number because I was going to text her or something and I was like it was so obviously a fake number oh. that I was like oh I, this girl actually just wants me to not talk yes, to her yeah. and I was like wow and I just was like I felt kind of bad no it you was don't like feel fucking, bad you it just... was like 818 <laughs> like literally <laughs> But you don't have to feel bad. You just take that in stride and realize that she doesn't like me. But it's, a shit? I know, no, I felt bad though because it's for the like, past. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. like, she, like it's so annoying for, for like, that's yeah. just something that's annoying that, look, it sucks that guys have to do this and hit on women like to make them to like, to, to, to like, to, to, to instigate the, to the in, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Mostly that's Initiate. a dude, a dude yeah, thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. But like, but like it's an it it sucks that girls have to deal with yes. this shit. Like yes. it fucking sucks that a girl, if she just wants to go have brunch with her friend, she's got if she's hot or even if she's not, she's got to deal yeah, no, with some dude that's matter. like, yeah. oh, Everyone. my fucking sister has that same jacket, and you're like, oh yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's so annoying, dude. Yeah, it's a little bit like being fucking like it happens to me. Like on the on the on the level of people are like like I was at the coffee bean and tea leaf the other day. Yeah, I fucking frequent the coffee bean and tea leaf. I do know that. And uh, and uh, this girl just immediately, I'm sitting there. She's like Chris D'Elia, and then everyone's just like, woo, 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 yeah. woo, and I'm just like, you know. So it's like, but to be a fucking, it's good how you made it about yourself. Though. Well, but bro, you got to bring your own experience to the situation, okay. right? Okay. But to be a ten. Bro, to be a 10, to be a fucking 10, like when you walk, you're, you know what I mean? Like you're, you know what I mean? You're right. You're, I, I don't want to like, say, but nah, your titties move. If you're a 10 and you're walking and your titties are moving the opposite direction as you bounce like that this. That isn't someone. To be a 10. You're describing <laughs> Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> like you're just taking steps. You're walking into just somewhere, just to the DMV. And all you want to do is get your fucking picture taken, right? Because your your license is uh, expired and you don't even know because you're a hot chick and you don't have to deal with that shit. And you're walking and you're taking steps. And as you take a down step, your lumps go up to the left. Dude, dudes are going to be like, hey, my sister has that same jacket. No, dudes are going to be like, what so the annoying. fuck is wrong with that woman? <laughs> That's Dude. not good. I'm just saying, you're taking a fucking step on the downswing to the bottom right, and your titties are fucking activating to the upper left. Some dude is gonna be like, my sister has that same jacket. It's annoying as fuck for these tens. Okay, but also non tens, every woman, every woman deals with this out in the fucking world. It's like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, a lot of men are afraid of like supremely beautiful women and they don't even get talked to at all i know dude i know no i understand that and that's another thing that they have to worry you got to walk worry about this fucking the other 10 there's a super duper 10 like in an almost 11 and when she fucking takes the down step to the bottom left, oh her my titties go God. fucking above her shoulders dude and it's insane and she's like why do no guys ever talk to me and bitches are around her dude dude bitches men can be bitches too and they're oh just like God. Oh, i wish i could uh, uh i want to say that her uh my sister has the same jacket but she's like i guess i'll leave and a fucking dude 10 is like i want to tell her that my sister has the same jacket and she spins around and walks away and fucking takes the down step to the bottom right and her titties go up above to the upper left. And it's like, dude, they're missing out. They could be doing the horizontal mambo. They could be splurting and a fucking kid could come out nine months later. My takeaway from that is that there are so many sisters with the same jacket. <laughs> so many sisters have the jacket that this woman's wearing. All I'm saying is, dude, everybody wants to find someone, right? And That's if you're actually a, not all you're saying. And if you're a, a, a chick... That is taking steps, and as you're taking steps, your titties are moving in the opposite directions. Dude, go to go, the doctor. Go straight to the fucking doctor. <laughs> That's not true, bro. When you see, you know what I'm talking about. When you see, no, and they're in a dude. Hurry. All right, well, what the fuck are you talking about? Cartoons? No, like fucking, you know, hefty breasted women. Like when you, I'm saying hefty, hefty six sack. <laughs> Cinch sack, bro. What, you say? <laughs> what did I say? Six sack. I don't F -D, know. FD big rack, dude. <laughs> Bro. Oh, shit, bro. Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> fuck. Uh. Just fucking mow, mow. You know what I mean? When no. you're walking? No, dude. All right, dude. No, a lot Jimbo. of the time, I don't know what Jimbo. you're saying. Jimbo. Jimbo. Jugs in my mouth. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> dude, my friend, and, my friend when I was in high school, and he fucking said, and he was like, oh, man. And there was this chick named Stacy. <laughs> Stacy, you know? No one real is named Stacy. I what her name was, Stacy, dude. And she fucking, and my buddy thought she was so hot. <laughs> oh, wow. And he was like, oh, man, when she walked by Jimbo, and I was like, Jim. <laughs> and he said, yeah, dude, jugs in my mouth. You can't even say it. <laughs> he said, jugs in my mouth, baby. Oh. <laughs> so there's two Bs. <laughs> two M's. Two M's, two yeah. M's. Uh, can't spell. Jugs in my mouth, baby. Oh, bro. I'll never forget we were on the fucking, we were walking up the stairs, bro. <laughs> he was so loud. <laughs> I have a question. And it was echoey because it was the stairwell and he was like, jugs in my mouth, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, wait, I have a question though. Did he make that up or is that something? No, he made it up, bro. Wow. He made it up. That, it, it was so funny. Oh, wow, 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 wow. It was so was funny. Was that Brandon? Fuck. Yes, it was yeah, Brandon. I remember dude. that, yeah. Fuck, man. And he goes, jugs in my mouth, baby. Oh. Wow. Dude, I'll never forget. Wow, well, that's so never ludicrous. forget you that actually, and 9-11. What? You actually, that's so ludicrous. <laughs> that's so ludicrous that you actually can say that out loud because what the fuck? No one knows what you're talking Jimbo, about. Jimbo, yeah. So, so, fuck, so, you see so, a hot chick? You walk so stupid. Say, Jimbo. <laughs> that's, that's so, so stupid. stupid, dude. Unreal. I mean, it's the stupidest kid, thing though, right? I've ever seen. I've heard in my life. How old is he? Like 15, 16? We were in high school. Yeah, yeah so young, yeah. Oh, fuck, man. Right. I mean, he's 43 now, you know? <laughs> he was always a year older than me. I'm only 42. He kind of looked like Brad Pitt, huh? That guy? I mean... I was so jealous. I, I, fucking... We all kind of look like him a little. <laughs> <laughs> we all look like different people, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I look like attractive guys, too. It's just different. I'm more of a fucking that guy from my best friend's wedding, the gay guy. Okay, so the thing about that guy is <sighs> it's worse to live with regret than it is to be rejected. Okay, next video. Wow. Also Jimbo. Emma, hey Chris, how's it going? Love the show, keep it up. Love what you guys are doing, love tuning in. So I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase here. I'm 22, I'm seeing a woman who's 44 and I keep running into the same questions. Uh -huh. So essentially sure people will ask uh, variants of, is she a sugar mama? And she's not. They'll ask, has she got any kids? And she hasn't. And they'll ask, is it weird? and it's not and there are a few other questions that are sprinkled in there as well usually but keep running into those over and over again i was just wondering if you had any ways to kind of give a shortcut answer and i also was wondering if you know she is twice my age if you thought there were any maybe mm -hmm. practical implications of our situation in the future that i should look out for or if you guys have had any experience with this yourselves. So, uh, yeah, that's my question. Thanks for listening to it. And uh, let me know what you think in a bit. Well, the practical thing is she's going to die. So way earlier. Before, way earlier than you yeah, are. Yeah, he could get hit by a train or some shit, though. True. So you There's never no really trains know. in Australia. But, but I think uh, that that, uh, honestly, those questions, <sighs> then they'll never stop. They will yeah, absolutely they're not gonna never stop. stop. Yeah. You just got to learn to breathe through that annoying shit because that is not not gonna fucking stop is she your sugar mama just look him right in the eyes and say no nah. that's a fucking rude ass question anyway well then people are just sugar trying to be mama. funny they're idiots yeah they're idiots oh really you think that's a joke do you think they're being funny oh i think probably mostly people it's probably be like oh is she your sugar mama that's i think mostly probably yeah. stupid dude uh people are hacky though but um i i was 30 and i dated a 51 year old i yeah i so, uh, uh have you yeah, I yeah. mean that. What is it? Twenty one years? I don't think I've ever. That's a big. That's exactly like this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could. I and I was funny too because I invited her out and she came out. I mean, she was smoking, right? Like, and she was like, Quick smoking. We were talking, and she was like, uh, you know, um, you know, I'm a bit older, right? And I was like, yeah. And I didn't really know how much older. And then she told me she was fifty one. Uh, and we hung out a bunch of times. She was she was awesome, and she, you know, I think that. I think some, I mean, it's cool, you know, depending on how mature you are, this guy seems mature. Yeah, like, seems, yeah, totally. You know, it's cool and it can work, but it depends on what the long play is, right? Like, I mean, if you want to have get married and have kids, it's probably not the move, right? Because well, you'd already, have to do it pretty soon. Yeah, you got yeah. to do soon. He might. I mean, look, he might, yeah. I actually, the age thing that mm -hmm. way, like young men yeah. and older women, I think is sort of like, has like a weird cultural thing, the way people look at it. It's like a source of jokes more than anything else. Mm. And I think that if you're in a serious relationship where you're really a lot younger as the man 
and the woman is much older, I think you're kind of like in a weird situation uh, beyond the literal unit of the two of you. Like people view you yeah, 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 as yeah. like such an anomaly. It's almost like humorous to yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel, I kind of feel your pain, but if it's a really serious relationship, you just gotta learn to breathe through those questions because they're never gonna fucking stop. Uh, practical, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I would give you any advice besides that, which is that if you really do think long term, that you you see it working out with this woman. Not that you should necessarily end it though. That's more on no, her right, yeah. to end it if she doesn't have. If she sees those things in her That's future. True. That's true. Because she's so much. I mean, butting up much more with the future than you are. I mean, you're twenty fucking two. You're yeah. so young. Wow. But if you're happy with this woman, then fuck everything else. Yeah, true. Yeah. Happiness you know? is hard to come by. And if you find a little piece of it, grab it and hold on to it forever. Completely right. I think right. John Lennon said that, but. Completely right. Um, yeah, I think that maybe, uh, you know, also too, if you want to like, you can like be with her for a long time and then she gets old and then either she dies and then you're like 40 or 50 and then you got a whole nother life that you can just kind of live. You so know. you're asking so him you have to, two lives basically when you live when you when you date someone older you live two lives so you're asking him to bake in her death to his plans for the future well you have to not really i mean she's 44 she's not 22. 64 she she's will be. young she's still she like will a, be and he'll be 44 yeah she will be and he'll be 44 that's right. right yeah and then she'll be 70 something and he'll be 50 something and then she'll die and then he'll get to live a whole nother life with someone else is all i'm saying so you're saying he should plan on that for the future but her dying yeah wow Okay, well, that's cold shit. Dude. It's not cold. It's just true. It's reality. And you know me, dude. I speak the realness. But I'm saying you're planning for another relationship after her no, death you don't have to plan is cold for the, as ice. But no, but you don't fucking do that. You know, you just say like, you know, in, in your own head, you're like, all good things come to an end. And then after that, there's another life where also there could be another good thing. And then that will come to an end eventually. But that will be when I die. How weird would it be for him to be with this woman yeah. until she's until she dies, let's mm -hmm. say in her mid 70s, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. And then he's in his 50s. Mm -hmm. And then he turns around and dates someone who's like 30. Right. That will be the weirdest right. shock going from a 70-something-year-old yeah. to a 30-year-old. Yeah. It'll be the, I'm just thinking like that would be, imagine like the generation, that's like two generations. Yeah. Like the yeah. gap of that, wow. like going from Gen X right. to millennial. Yeah. Jesus, that would be insane. That would be actually. the wildest yeah. shit ever. Anyway, fuck everybody. Fuck them all for asking stupid questions, but mm. they're not going to stop. If you're in love with this woman, Keep it up, keep it going, whatever. I, the age difference is only as big a deal as you as you as you make it. Not right. everyone else makes it. Right, yeah. right. Okay, cool. Next one. What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Milo. I am 24 years old from Seattle, Washington. Uh, Chris, been following you since the Vine days. True wow. baby, love you. Wow. Matt, I introduced you through congratulations, but always loved it when you were on, and uh, been loving the new pod. Hell keep yeah, keep going. Um, well, thanks, Milo predicament for you so as you can see we don't got a lot going on up here sure yeah uh i don't know if you can see the back but it's on its way out mm -hmm. uh, i think it started like junior senior year of college wow uh friends have been giving me shit for it you Fuck know that. i catch flack it's just like i i think I, i'm ready just for it to stop being a, a thing yeah you know so i'm thinking about shaving it completely you got a good uh, head looking for your advice uh, but one thing I do like having facial hair. Yeah. No. And yes. Chris, I know it's it's one of your a little rules, bit. Man. That much. The is face fine. hair can't be longer than the head hair. That's and, not. Uh, right. Yeah. I gotta say I kind of agree with that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. See. But we got limited options. So You're right. 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 Let me know what you think. Uh, what my next steps are, and I'll see you in the log cabin one day. Fuck yeah, dude. Peace. You will. First, dude, first great fucking hoodie that was. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. I I think that uh you can have a little bit of you can have. Your your face hair could be longer than your hair hair if you have no hair hair and your face hair is like a stubble. Like I think that, yeah, that, that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also like the guy has a good head. Yeah, he's got a good head. I mean, head, so yeah. cut it. So there's only one piece of advice and it's this. Full agassi. You yeah. go full Andre agassi. The and, end. And learn, and learn tennis? Or what? What you he could. Do? Oh, he went, oh, because he had big hair and then had he no had hair. He had the guy. big, crazy fucking hair, yeah, that which was, was probably cool. a fucking wig, and we all know it. Uh -huh. And then he was like, fuck it all. I'm going Mr. Clean. Mm -hmm. So now it's not going Mr. Clean. It's going full fucking action. But you're fortunate because he 
<clears throat> has a good head. Like if I went bald, yeah, trouble. But you got to cut it, dude. You got to cut it. I mean, what are you going to do? Grow it out? You look like a fucking asshole. But he's basically <clears throat> there. It's like, that's not even a one yeah, blade. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not even a zero. Yeah, it looks like a fucking... <clears throat> Like the shortest possible length of hair is what he's got on his head. <clears throat> but also you could be like, if, if people are making fun of him, you just say to them, <clears throat> it was like, oh, yeah, you ain't got no hair. You'd be like, yeah, dude, it's a good thing, man. It's a good thing I don't have hair, man. Because if you if I did, I'd take your girl. <laughs> you could also say, oh, you, know she, yeah. oh, you want to make fun of me for fucking have, for being bald? You ever heard of a little guy I like to call Bruce Willis? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Then they'd be like, didn't he have dementia? And he'd be like, yeah, but I'm not talking about the dimension. Right. I'm talking about, the, like, I'm talking about 10 years ago. Yeah. Or Jason Statham. Yeah. Work yeah, out. So also many, get, dude. Also get beefy as shit, dude. That would be awesome. If he you're looks like he's kind of beefy, yeah. right? He's fit, yeah. But yeah. he's 24, dude. You might, you know what I mean? You could be yeah. fit at 24 and really not, not do much. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Get fucking take, you know. Uh, no, don't be a... You don't want to be too muscular with the yeah. shaved head. That's, mm. that's like you're like meat, like a pack of fucking meat. Nobody wants that shit. Mm. You got to be a little bit like lean and mean with the fucking bald hair. You don't want to be like Mr. Yeah. Fucking Muscles. That's gross, dude. Yeah, you're right. You know? You're right. You want to be lean and mean. You want to be wiry mm. and fucking sexy. Or sinewy. Like yeah, Tarzan. sinewy. This guy's got it in him for sure. <laughs> like 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 Christian Bale in a machinist. Uh, oh, wow, the machinist. You know, he wants to, <laughs> he wants, no, he needs to look at Brad Pitt in Fight Club. That's machinist. the kind of shit he wants. Yeah. Machinist in the day. Christian Bale in the day of sex machinist. <laughs> Uh yeah, but get zzz, do it. Lost your mind. Get zzz, go get a fucking razor blade and get zzz, lost your mind. Or get shaving cream and get a razor and go shh. Robot malfunctioning. Shh, shh. The guy from Police Academy. <laughs> We're gonna go with the guy from Police Academy. <laughs> um, all right, cool. Next one. Hey, Chris and Matt. My nice name is sweater. Isabel. I am coming to you guys out of the Philadelphia-ish area. Uh, I'm a huge fan, and I am in need of some advice. Okay. So my boyfriend and I have been together for like two and a half years, and we have been watching the Congratulations podcast together for a majority of our relationship. Cute. Um, he got me into you, Chris, and now I am uh, just a part of the cult. What can Hell I say? Yeah. But Love it. anyway, the advice I need is that... My boyfriend told me he doesn't want to watch Congratulations with me anymore. He wants what? to watch it alone every week. Oh. Um, he <laughs> thinks it's funnier when he watches it alone. He, That's I guess, appreciates it more. Um, but I love our weekly Congratulations yeah. time, and I want to keep watching it with him. What yeah. the fuck? So I know this isn't a big deal at all. It's kind of silly, but I would like to know how you guys would handle this situation. Both Chris and Matt would like both of your advice, not just Chris. Um, so, yeah, what would you guys do? Is it not a big deal? Like, I don't know. What do I do? Uh, thank you guys so much. Keep doing what you're doing. Love you guys. Dude, why? Why I, Why does he... He likes it better alone. That's hilarious, dude. Like it's Casino or some that's shit. What I was gonna like, say, don't bother me. Uh, that's what I was going to say. If it was like a dramatic film, that's I would so get funny, it. Dude. Or a dramatic TV show. And like the, a person you're with like likes to talk through it. I would get that. But more than that, I would say... I would just say, hey, can we not talk to it? Like, I wouldn't yeah. ask to be alone. Also, but it's also s silly and like you want to laugh with somebody, don't you? This is hilarious. It's dude. serious business for this guy. Well, I, uh, I think at first, first and foremost, I'd be like, why? Yeah, why? What the fuck? That's so weird. Why? And make him answer. And depending that's upon so what funny, he says, dude. I guess give him what he wants because he's asking for it. Yeah. But that's, that's a fucking weird thing. I don't even know what the fuck. It's good this is you. like it's good for you to get more views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Kristen will like be like, let's watch a TV show, and I'll be like, fuck yeah, and I'll turn it on and be like a great one, like Boardwalk Empire, and we'll yeah. get fucking three episodes in, and I'll look over and she's just like, either on TikTok or not in the room anymore. And then the next night I'll be like, let's watch episode four, and she's like, nah, we did it last night. And then I'm like, you got me hooked on a fucking show, nah. and now I'm watching it alone. I gotta watch fucking nah. the whole season of Boardwalk Empire yeah. alone. Um. And I don't like that. And that's a drama. I like watching shit alone. But I mean, watching it alone is fine if you started alone. But if you started with somebody, you were like, we had, this was our thing. So I get yeah. it. I get what she's saying. Yeah. Also, you have to watch all my podcasts in order. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's just a really weird request. But if he, insist, if he insists on it and if he has a good reason, which I don't know what that reason could be. But if you ask and he gives you one, I guess give him give him the space to watch it alone but he's a fucking weirdo start watching it with another guy he'll come around well that's true start watching it with another guy spread the cult and then fucking by the way you look great in that hoodie you can get that hoodie at chrislea.com it says oops it's the oops hoodie that's that bone one looks good dude she if you're fair skin and you wear that bone colored hoodie oh shit she, she looked real good yeah. sky's the limit man
I didn't know how that, that the hoodie looked so good with a nose ring too. She has a nose ring. Uh, yep. Dude, that bone hoodie, chrislea.com. Speaking of which, I'll be in Dallas coming up. Go to chrislea.com. Wow. I'll be in Atlanta. I'll be in Denver. But go to my tour. You know, there's so many fucking tour dates. Chrislea.com. Albany, I just added. You ever been to Albany? Me? Yeah. Yeah. You have, right? Yeah. Wait, why were you in Albany? I uh, dated a girl who lived near, or his parents lived near there. Really? Oh, yeah. when you were in college? No. Uh, no. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, right. I remember. Yeah. yeah. Um, Albany. Yeah. Have you ever been to uh, Lakeland, Florida? I'll be there. Been to different places in Florida. Never and... been to Lakeland, Florida. What do you think of that? I've been to so many places, bro. Yeah, you have been to a lot of places. Like places that like I'll be in Peoria. Nobody should ever be there. I'll be in Rockford, Illinois. You're making that you're making up places. No, I know. It sounds like I am. Yeah. Um Cheyenne. I've never been to Cheyenne. I'm going to Cheyenne. You need when you go to Cheyenne, you need like a holster. Yeah, I know. With like six shooters in them. And a cab, big cowboy. That's how hat. I feel about Cheyenne too. Yeah, you got to do it. Yeah. I was at the Laugh Factory last night, and there was a guy in the front row with a fucking cowboy hat on the on his knee, just chilling. Like That's he took like it gentlemanly. Off the, yeah. yeah, it was gentlemanly. Yeah. yeah. And I said, "Where are you from?" And he said, "California." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, next." Where Where in California? Though? I mean, prop, up north for sure. Pretty, you know? it gets or pretty way fucking, down south near the border. But he was white. It gets pretty rural <laughs> in California. People think of it as like I know, I know, I know, coastal city shit. It no, is not, dude, and yeah. it's so Republican too. If you get out there and you don't even know about it. The most, mo- like the majority of the space mm-hmm. in California yeah. is covered by I red know. or Republicans, I but know. way more people uh, obviously yeah. are right, in the cities course, and yeah. they're all fucking liberal as shit. I already knew that. Okay. Well, tell them the viewers in case they don't know mm-hmm. and listeners. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, I got uh, all, uh, subscribe to our clips channel too on Lifeline. Oh, okay, cool. I'm just saying. And then also I got some fucking videos coming out where I'm doing crowd work. So subscribe to Chris Delia. Okay, so Christalia drunk, channel. but okay, yeah. <laughs> do you want to do another one or are we done? Uh, we, we can do one more, right? All okay, right, cool. cool. What up, Matt and Chris? My name's Sam, fellow New Jerseyan. Chris, Whoa. you might recognize me from King in the State. Yeah, I remember uh, her. Sorry I burned you. Uh, not oh, sorry. I, I anyway, I'm kind guessed. of sending this in for two reasons. One being, I never heard back from King in the Sting, and it made me kind of sad. But why do I know who she is, then? And um, basically, I'm looking for relationship advice somewhat on just dating right now and encountering beta males. Oh. Every time I find a guy I like decently, he's fucking beta as fuck. And I'm just kind of over it. Like, it's hard to be, I guess, 25 and accomplished these days due to society and fucking inflation. But, um, yeah, just kind of looking for some advice on that. Still inflation. waiting for Theo to rescue me on his eagle. Let me know what you guys think. Hope to hear back from you. Love the show. Thanks. Oh, cutie. Um, I don't know what. I know what a beta male is, obviously, yeah. but it's not me. That could, that, sure. could mean, that could mean a lot of things. Not I wonder me. what she means. She's running like she meets a guy, then gets to know him a little bit better, and then like comes to understand he's he's a beta. That's if, what she's saying. I will say to this woman, if you keep running into the same problem, yeah, it might be worth it to look within. Yeah, and I. She seems like a sweetheart and a fucking cool chick, but I'm just saying I don't know you. Maybe there's something you're doing yeah. to attract these betas, right? Maybe there's something you're doing that you're attracting these betas, or maybe you're too alpha. Maybe you're too much. Maybe right? you're the alpha. Maybe, maybe you're the alpha, you got to deal fine. with the fact that you're the alpha, yeah. In which case, you need a real fucking alpha, dude. You need a guy who wears sunglasses all, all the time at night. <laughs> never has his shirt on. And just fucking never, or, or maybe a tank top at dinner, but yeah. then never has his shirt on. <laughs> and um, and just kind of fucking, you know. I think that also you might want to consider that the, the beta thing might, however you're defining it, mm-hmm. might be if you keep running into it and like those are the guys that gravitate towards you. I'm not saying that you should give up your ideal and like not keep looking but maybe for whatever reason that's happening for a, like a if as a positive thing like mm-hmm. maybe you are the alpha and in a relationship yeah, yeah, are yeah, supposed yeah. to be the alpha yeah and maybe you should actually try being the alpha in a relationship and seeing what's up with fucking beta dudes because i don't know it keeps happening you might mm-hmm. as well give it a shot yeah they're they're out there and everybody needs somebody but also every dude is a beta really because the alpha male is always out there for everyone, right? Like, well, that's not no alpha and beta are types, though. Oh, it's I not see what like, you're saying. 
Got it's it. not like actual, yeah. like there's a dominator and everyone gets dominated by that one guy. Well, when it's, I mean, I've it's not never a been around a- any alphas. So yeah, it is. Uh, so it's you, you're saying you're the dominator? Oh, it is what it is, huh? When uh, I walk into a room. No, it's just like a type. power. I mean, and it's like. <laughs> it's a general type, like uh, yeah. alpha and beta. And she's running into what she seems, she sees as. Uh, was she saying when she gets to know them she realizes they're like what's going on there I don't know maybe she's only meeting them. I don't know if she's only meeting betas and she's not giving fucking dudes enough of a chance you yeah, know what I mean yeah. uh, and then the problem does lie within but right. if you're somebody that figures out uh, oh wait this guy's actually beta also the problem was within yourself so basically the problem is within yourself you're thinking too much about it then you're either not thinking enough about it or thinking too much about it you also could be pulling the plug or judging these guys too early yeah yeah yeah, yeah. because every dude's a fucking badass at something you know pretty much yeah uh, and so maybe you just gotta give it more time to find that um, and it could be now in your head that it's gonna happen it's gonna happen you're looking for it Maybe ease up a little bit and let the alpha fucking come to you, the alpha that you're looking for, however you would define it. Mm-hmm. Or quiz them, you know? What would you do if four guys tried to rob us? There you go. Right when you meet him, quiz them. Yeah. And if a guy says, oh, shit, I would run and leave you there. Right. Beta, right? Right. If a guy says, I'll kick all their fucking asses, <laughs> right? Alpha, but not the true alpha, right? Because you know what the true alpha says What's to that? What's the true alpha do? I don't know. What? It, what, what I don't care. I think the true alpha might say I do what I want. I would kinda. fight them, but because there are four of them, I would probably lose. But I would I would rather me get the brunt of the uh, assault than you. That's probably what the the true best possible alpha would say. Mm. He's re- he's realistic. He's honest, but also would rather put himself on the line physically to get hurt than you for instead of you. That's that's the right thing, right? And that's what I would do. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. So we figured that out. Okay, so we figured that out for you. Thank you very much. Congratulations to uh, everyone who we figured things out for. You know, guys, that was a good episode of, of Lifeline, wasn't it? That was a really fun one. That was good, yeah. Um, and uh, chrislea.com for tour. Um, I will be, I said Denver and all those other spots. You but, said them all, all of them already, so we're not going to do that now. All of them. But Subscribe to the Boston. Clips channel. Oh, shit. Boston. You Savannah. Got more? Raleigh. Jesus Christ. Oakland, Stockton. Washington, D.C., Wichita. Okay, well, if you have questions for us, uh, click the link in the description below or go to watchlifeline.com and do it there. Uh, We love you. Thank you. Chris is showing off his shoes. And the Life Rip socks. And the Life Rip socks. uh, And, yeah, we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys.